So, hallo, willkommen in meiner Wohnung. Heute möchte ich euch meinen Tag im Lockdown zeigen. So, hallo, Amanda Spratt hier, Australian Cycling Team Member. You're not in Germany, don't worry, you're still in Australia or wherever in the world you're watching. Uh, but I've just started my day with 30 minutes of German study. Nice little quick start for the brain, which I'm trying to do here in lockdown. Uh, but for those who know me, I'm going to need to get some coffee and brekkie in me before I'm ready to show you more about what I get up to here. So I'm back, I've had my coffee. Uh, I think my dad is still scarred from trying to talk to me pre-coffee earlier in the year. So sorry, dad. Hi, I know you're watching. Um, I guess we have to learn things the hard way sometimes. Anyway, on a serious note, I do hope you're all keeping healthy and safe in this challenging time. I know for me, it's been really challenging to reset goals, recalibrate, get used to this, uh, I guess, different life we have at the moment. Uh, it's the first time I've been in one place for so long in over 14 years. So. It's a little bit scary to think about that, but um, yeah, I'm trying to embrace the opportunity now. I think you can see behind me. So each week, each Friday, I sit down and um, set out some goals for the week ahead. Also in the kitchen, trying to cook new things. And I found that just a really helpful way to sort of bring a bit of routine back into my life. Um, I'm trying to go to the shops only once a week, once every 10 days. So it means I can get in and out really quickly and an efficient way for me to operate, uh, as well as just trying to have a nice routine every day, waking up at a similar time, going to bed at a similar time, um, getting myself into training at the same time each day has really helped me too, actually. Speaking of routine, almost 10 a.m., time to get on the bike. So this has pretty much become the exercise bike room. So Zwift is set up, ready to go. Uh, this morning we have a community chase, AKA handicap on Zwift. So time to get kitted up and go. So safe to say that was a little harder than what I was anticipating, but I think when there's so much competitive energy just sitting there and not being used, I should expect nothing less. Anyway, time to recover. I'm back. Apologies for the red face. I am well and truly smashed from that Zwift handicap. Anyway, had some lunch, a bit of a stretch, and now I'm ready to show you what else I've been getting up to. So I think it's easier to show you, pretty obvious. Mm -hmm but I've taken up puzzling. I'm not actually sure if that's a word, but we'll go with it. This is the latest one. And as you can see, there are a lot of the same color left. So it is testing the patience, that's for sure. But uh, anyway, the other thing I like to do is learn about the puzzles that I'm doing. So this is the Eiger Jungfrau and Munch in Switzerland. And Jungfrau is the highest point in Europe that you can travel to by train. So there's some handy trivia for you. These are the other puzzles that we've done. So this is Dresden, the Frauenkirche. So the old part of Dresden, Germany. And this one was called Mediterranean Places. So truth be told, I got this one because I thought it would be easier because there are a lot of colors. Um, turns out it wasn't. Anyway, this is the next one waiting to be done. So I'm sure I'll have a few more gray hairs after that one too. So safe to say, this is keeping me fairly busy here in lockdown. So thanks for following along. I think my take home messages from this period have been to stay connected with your support network, uh, stick to a routine and challenge yourself to learn new and interesting things. Latest one.